So, Christian, do you know what the hell this is? Um, well, you've been schooling me. Uh, as soon as I got into your house, the first thing I saw was Fire Pro Wrestling. Am I correct? Uh, that, that is correct. I mean, I've been waiting to school you on this game since we talked about it on the VG Confidential podcast this week. Now, yeah, you've been on it since, when was it, 2007? It came out in 2000, I think 2005 or 2004 in Japan. Uh -huh. I got it about a year later because of all the people who will talk about it on the internet about how it's the best wrestling game. I, oh, yeah. I imported a PS2 and the game so I could play it. God damn, so this is like the super top secret wrestling video game fans in the internet somewhere? Uh, yeah. 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 So the website called Fire Pro Club. Ah. Was dedicated to this game and a few other Japanese wrestling games. Okay. So, so they made the website in response to this game or in response to the prequel? Or? They made it in... Fire Pro Wrestling has actually been around since about 1989 or something like that. That's, a series, making, of, that's a series of video games? Yeah. They've been making these games pretty much the same way. 2D, the same control scheme and everything. Since about, yeah, 1989 on the Super Nintendo. Yeah. So it's been around for a while. It just, this was the first one to make its way to America. Alright, alright. So but it, you, still, you still needed uh, an adapter or what? Yeah, yeah you still that? needed a Japanese or an emulator. A lot of people played through emulator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I see I see you made an interesting character here. What's his name? Uh, well, this is uh, Nabs, a.k.a. Harry Paratesti. Is, uh, <laughs> Paratesti, only one? It's, he's only out of one. Uh, he, he's a recent survivor of... Uh, testicular, testicular cancer. Uh, Lance Armstrong style? Yeah, so he only has one testy. Now, but is he taking steroids like Lance Armstrong to make up for the testosterone loss? Absolutely or? not. No need for steroids. I mean, I mean, those hands are great for masturbation. I don't know if you see how big <laughs> you made them. Ma masturbation and for crushing people's skulls. <laughs> I see you're using, who is this? Oh, this, this is, is Big Red NY. This, this is the oh. guy that's in every wrestling video game I have. It's I thought it was Jose my Jose alter ego. I thought it was Jose Canseco. It, he weighs about the same as me right now, except, but he's about five inches taller and actually in shape. I see. Alright, so, now you were explaining to me earlier how to play this game. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, as you can see how you're just completely missing with these chops right here. Yeah. The, the punching in this game is kind of finicky. Is it? Yeah, because it's the 2D, it really takes into account the 2D planes that you're standing on. Right. And I see you breathing there. That's one of the other mechanics you have to get used to. The more moves you do, the more you get tired and you, you have to breathe. And, oh, oh, you just <laughs> ran right through. What the hell nah, was I that? Just hit from my fingertips. Oh. Fingertips of death. Uh, but yeah, the, the Fire Pro Wrestling games, they, got, they really got their kickstart in America. With Fire Pro, oh, oh man, look at that. I went through like a freight train. You just moved <laughs> out the way. Oh, the uh, Fire Pro D on the Dreamcast, because the Dreamcast was easily moddable to play uh, Japanese games. Fire Pro D, yeah, D for Dreamcast, of course. Oh okay. man, so nuts. <laughs> so a lot of people imported D and played that, and it was the most recent one until Fire Pro Wrestling Returns came out, which is the one we're playing right now. Oh, with the bulldog. And uh, people had to import it for a while, but in uh, 2007 or 2008. One of the, one publisher, I'm forgetting their name now, that said, hey, this game is kind of popular, let's translate it and bring it over to America for all the American fans to play. And I think it sold about two copies. <laughs> <laughs> this, be, this being one of them. Alright. Where did you get it, though? Uh, I, I got it from games, um, no, I got it from Amazon, actually. Oh, okay, alright. There you go, with my fingertips to death. Yeah. Uh, it, you're used to SmackDown games, right? That's... Not even. I was not really a big fan of SmackDown games. No, you've not, never been a big fan of SmackDown games? I played them. I played a lot of them, but I never really bought them because I just wasn't... I felt the uh, the moving, the movement was too like erratic and it was just, yeah. I don't know, I guess the word I could use is loose. I, I was I was a big fan of No Mercy on the N64 uh, uh, wrestlers. Those I mean, who, who wasn't a fan of No Mercy? Gosh. But I, I was a huge SmackDown fan and yeah. I was up until SmackDown 07, which is when the game I realized that it sucked. 07? Which yeah. one was that one? Uh, the first one on the Xbox, I think. Hey, who would have had in the cover? Uh, it's probably John, John Cena. John I think it was John uh, Cena Batista or some crap. Like that. I mean, is it John Cena on like every cover? I mean, the last one I remember playing uh, regularly was... What the hell was that? Point? What the hell kind of stance is that you're using? This, this is... Come on, this is that is dragon it? stance? Let me punch you in the face with your dragon pra stance. No, no. It's a praying mantis stance. <laughs> so I got the fingertips of death. <laughs> but, but I mean, I, I've got a ton of fun out of the SmackDown series, but it just, it just got stale. It did? Uh, to me it did, yeah. The the movement was clunky after a while. Yeah. The the gameplay became run of the mill and bland. God damn, I'm trying to do that corner splash on you, crush you. I mean the one thing that turned me off the most was the lack of customization in in, in uh, making characters and making moves. I, I mean I don't know, I was just used to the grappling, the str the weak grappling, the strong grappling from the N sixty four games. Yeah. And they kinda 
I don't I don't remember if they really took that off or if they just it wasn't as complex. Well, SmackDown has changed their grappling scheme so much in the last uh, last like five versions of the game that I don't even know where it's at now. Yeah. Oh man, right in the nuts. I mean, who who made the SmackDown games? Uh, Ukes. THQ Ukes. publishes them and Ukes uh, makes them. Ooh. Oh. In the Dingleberry. Yeah. Right in the. As you can see. Right. I, right in that paratus. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, jumping suplex. Never seen John Cena do that. Let me see if I can get a drop kick out of you. Oh, no, you moved. There's a lot of things John Cena doesn't do. <laughs> like actually be entertaining? Yeah. Back drop. Oh, oh. fingertips are... <laughs> Listen. Are you no breathing on me? It's just, it's just time to breathe? That's what you think of me? Oh, I'll punch you in the face. You fucking parry. Ah, damn. You snap me like crazy right now. So, so uh, It was Ukes, you said? I Ukes. mean, didn't they used to make the... Uh, the like, No Mercy and... Uh, the games back in the day? Uh, no, that was that was AKI. Uh, THQ still published them, but that was AKI that was the publisher of those games. And I actually think the last wrestling game AKI worked on was the Def Jam Vendetta. Nah, I see. Which was, it was, the, you know, the pretty much the sequel to No Mercy, but with, with rappers instead of wrestlers and without any WWE license. Man, and you know, I never checked out the uh, the, Jet, the Def Jam games. You, you, have you never played Five for New York? I've never really played any of them. I played the demo of one on the 360. That was kind of wack. Oh, no, no. That's Icon. That, yeah. that is definitely that doesn't even count as one of the Def Jam games. So, if you've not played Five for New York, it seems like we have another game to make a video playing. Yeah. Because that game is still one of the best fighting games ever. And you, you know you've been whooping my ass? Oh, definitely. I mean, it's it's just effortless. I mean, it's the great Harry Potter. Oh, oh. oh! What the heck? One! Two! Oh! Hey, What's that on? I know it. Oh god. So, first time playing Fire Pro, what are you thinking about it? It's pretty fun. It's pretty neat. Because I kind of hyped it up a lot. I called it the best wrestling game ever, probably. I mean, I need some more time with it. I mean, for me, still, No Mercy is the best, but this definitely has a lot of improvements. Yeah. I mean, the customization is this. It, it, and this is unprecedented. Yeah, I mean, with the way your character's looking right now, with those those feathers and everything, looking like a like a really gay Hulk Hogan guy, man, <laughs> I don't think you could do that, no mercy. <laughs> what was the name of that character Hulk Hogan was for like two uh, days? Mr. America, you talking about? Yeah, the Patriot, the American or something? Uh, Patriot, Patriot was a real wrestler and also a character that I made. Ah. Uh, Are you trying to pin me? Oh, no, 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 it's matching in. Damn, kicked out before one. I think maybe I, 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 I let you get up. Oh! Oh, turn around, snap me a suplex. Let's go. One, two. I don't know if you noticed, but I actually made myself as a referee. So, so you're right. I look really Japanese. You see that? <laughs> that was if I was born in Japan. That's Anthony Martinez Hall. Yeah. That's Anthony Sun. <laughs> so, you were creating your character for about how long before we you uh, started wrestling like this match? 25 minutes, maybe? 20, 20 minutes. And, and you only. You, you, you made. I mean, by all accounts, you made a pretty simple character. Yeah. And we didn't even go over the movesets or the logic or anything like that. No. Nah. So that just goes to show you how deep this game's customization goes. Because I have about 12 characters that I've made myself for my own federation back in the day. And you said it took you, like, days? Oh, it took... It, I still haven't perfected those characters. Because <laughs> what happens is once you make the moveset, right? Yeah. Then it's time to make the logic, which is how the computer wrestles... When they use a character, oh! Oh, Harry Pest, Harry, Harry, Harry Tessie's with the. Oh no, he's still beating my ass. Get off me, Harry! Oh, hold on, I, we, we ain't done. Grab me again. <laughs> 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 I'm trying to do a move, but I can't. Apparently, I, I can't grab you. Trying to, <laughs> try to hit you from the back, man. What's going on? Oh, that's, that's 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 stop, pretty homosexual. Stop resisting. Oh, no, oh, I was trying to hit with the red zone. <laughs> yes, I do name my finish. What's, what's, the, what's your finish's name? Um, the Dingleberry Drop. Nah, so baby didn't get see it. Oh, 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 camera. oh, 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 Fire Pro Wrestling. Actually, and that was Harry Paratasty. Uh, Ten minutes. That's about enough for one video. Right? Definitely. Hope you guys enjoyed. This is Christian's first time. I'm gonna go whoop his ass off camera right now. Like, he <laughs> embarrassed me. Uh, so this was one of the games you may have missed. Uh, you can find more of them on the podcast. HTTP. Uh, what's the semicolon? Is it a colon? That's a colon. Colon. Right? Yeah. Colon. 
forward slash forward slash bgbo.com. Check it out. Absolutely. And uh, also look out for uh, Harry Paratesti. He's making his way up the ranks in developmental wrestling. He's going to be in the WWE very soon. John Cena, watch out. The Dingleberry Drop's coming for you. <laughs>